I'm Lisa Bromroff. My name is Zach Sarari. And together we have made this little art company called Fertile Images and Design. Fertile started, it was a rebirth. When I moved here, I was, you know, 40, my life burnt to the ground. And so it really was in that lovely rebirth after the fire, you know, the, the ground is very fertile. So this was an idea, and it was an idea in purity and naivety. I was doing some picture framing before even we met, but I saw this beautiful old film photograph of uh, Lisa this, using this plastic toy camera. So I fell in love with those pictures first, and then we met and we fell in love. And one day Lisa, she said, you told me all the time that you can do something with cameras, so you show me. And then I walk. me, all right. <laughs> all this happened with a very pure love of the city and also loving photography and no plan at all. It was just life. The creation of the photos happened in the initial stage of dreaming. For me, my images were taken in a moment of searching and reflection and a certain energy that I was trying to achieve. Photographers or artists, there's always uh, many things can stop you. It could be a subject matter, it could be a beautiful lighting, or a, or a message that you want to tell people. It's up to you to combine all this and make it the best for yourself. I come with my rest of my evening time to my dark room, so I just go there sometime for hours. There you go. So a few minutes hair dry outside and there'll be it. You have a little wedges like that? Yeah, I know. Exactly. Okay, so what and then you scan your film photograph, you make a digital file of it, and then from there you print it to the size you like. So size is certainly the beauty of digital printing, but the other beauty for us is our clients come to us and they want everything from a face mount plexi to a canvas to something much more traditional on an art paper. Digital photography set that freedom for all the artists of different format of visual art that they can actually have a mixed media with digital printing and then add whatever they like afterward. Just like good old days, I use variety of pastels. I use uh, chalk pastels, oil pastels, variety of different pencils. We combine film photography with digital photography, with painting, with design, and these are all helping us to make the process and make our image. Every creation is a new one, from you know, a four by six postcard to a large suite of art for development that I get to create a whole mood, of how the people are going to feel when they're walking through the space. You gotta capture people's heart first. It makes something for them to love. Yeah, people told us don't make postcards. Nobody sends them anymore, and that's just. But so people love them. True. They like, they they want to collect them. They want to yeah. They they want to go back to the day that we used to re write down for each other and send a little postcard. We've had lovely little peaks of success that felt like we were there. We were making it. But of course, this town's just a little bit tough. So pop-up really never was our strategy, but it had to become our strategy. We can go into a fabulous neighborhood, show ourselves off for a month, three months, get to know a lot of people, meet a lot of new clients, and move on. Try a new neighborhood. Today, we are going to sign a lease on our brand new studio workspace. And it's just another step on that path. We imagine that this is not our final landing place, but it is ours for the next three years to grow our business. Because this artistic experiment was about creating the life we wanted to live as much as creating art. Ultimately, Fertile is to be a creation of how we wish to live. If you can make something that people like and somehow you can make living, it's a, it's a freedom. I think you make yourself free and you live the way you like to live. That's the main aspect of being an artist of different format of art.